Since we're talking about rappers, let's talk about Young Buck. <laughs> Young Buck, they said he had some financial troubles, and um, supposedly he has a GoFundMe out there. <laughs> wow. And uh, the title of it is A Buck for Buck. <laughs> James. A dollar for buck. <laughs> it's like, yeah, give me a real shot. Give me, give me. <laughs> yeah. Anybody. It could be, man. It's, but, uh, just, it's just funny that, you know. Yeah. But, but see, I, we can make fun of this shit because we already right. broke. Don't, don't, get, don't get shit from me. Right. <laughs> we ain't got no money. Hey. So, we, we, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but that's funny. When I first saw it, I was just, it was just when they said the title. It, it was like, a, it was either called a buck for buck or a dollar for buck. And it was just like, wow. Has yeah. it gotten to that point yet? But nah, man. That's what I was telling you. Like, I was listening to, you know, when I was listening to the, the Mob Deep, the infamous book that uh, Prodigy, Prodigy had. Prodigy wrote, yeah. Yeah, God, you know, God bless the dead. But yeah, like, he was like, you know, he was talking about that meeting that him, it was him, and like the rest of the G unit. But Buck wasn't there. Buck was, I think he was somewhere else. Okay. But uh, Buck was on the phone with 50. You know, this is before they relationship wasn't as, you know, wasn't as valid. Yeah. But he was like, yeah, man, I'm a cleanup man, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I got you. I'm a cleanup man. And like, probably just like, yo, my man says you really need to shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> probably he was a fool. Yo. But yeah, I mean, it's just like, man, so what happened to that cleaning? I thought you, you know? were going to clean up, buck. You know? Now you bugging for bucks. Yo, Prodigy had no filter, man. No filter. They yeah, didn't say whatever man. the fuck he wanted. Um, and I remember he dissed Fat Joe one time. When, uh, uh, if it, when he was going to prison. It was right when he was going to prison. And uh, he was he named Fat Joe and a couple other people, I think. But yeah. Saying he didn't really care for their style of music and stuff like that. You know. I don't think he was trying to be a hater. It was just more. Yeah, he was just like, like I like hardcore, hardcore shit. And sometimes Fat Joe was putting out, you know, kind of crossover. You know what I mean? So, what up, family? Um, so yeah, that's that's the fam right there. But um, but yeah, so um, Young Buck is 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 trying to raise some money for himself, and he got a. Um, Go find me. It's called a buck for a buck. <laughs> yeah, so he's struggling, but you know, hopefully he gets get back on his feet. Um, let's give a shout out to my man Pusha T. He just had a new son, so yeah, let's give him a shout out. And you know what his son's name is? Ricks. <laughs> <laughs> so when he in the crib, he pushing. He got the baby in the crib, and he pushing it. Guess what he pushing? Bricks. Bricks. <laughs> when he holding him in his arm, guess what he holds? Bricks. <laughs> Bricks, nigga. You know what I mean? What you carrying over there, push? Bricks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, my man, congratulations to him. Yeah, that's you know what I'm saying, man. I wonder if Drake going to try to come out with a song now, you know, an Addy Don song. <laughs> Nah, what you can't you can't do that one now though. Right. What you gonna what you gonna right. say about bad about right. bricks? Right. You can't really do that. You, you can't, can't really I mean other than shitting bricks. Right. And even then <laughs> that's You can't really do nothing. But I, I mean yeah. it ain't gonna happen, I'm sure. It would just be funny, you know what I mean? So But shout out to Pusha T. Um, you know, congratulations on becoming a father. I think this is his first child, I think. Okay, that's what's up. I man. assume he had I never heard him talk about another one, so Congratulations to him. Um, you want to talk about Ice Cube? Uh, we can talk about Russell Simmons real quick. I kind of want to, you know. Yeah, no problem. So uh, Russell Simmons, he went on the Breakfast Club recently, had a long interview, um, and they asked him where he was at. He's over in Bali. Bali is way over there in like Asia, Asia Minor, all those little islands that's like right below Asia. Um, Indonesia and all of that. So he is over there. And he said he's been there since like January. Because people have been wondering, you know, why he's been so missing in action. And so um said he's been in Bali. He got a home there. Says he used to, he goes there like for meditation and stuff like that. And uh, 
he pretty much said he got caught out there because of the coronavirus. They closed the borders and all of that. So I got caught out there. That Me Too movement was yeah. getting real too funny. Yeah, that Me Too that's movement. What it, yeah. That's what happened. They was moving I mean, in let's on. just keep it real. They, they was moving in on him. I mean, we, you know, I think that I'm glad that things are coming out the way they are because... You know, there was, I think, some level of deceit on the part of some of those women, but I'm sure he did something. You know what I mean? He did something because, I mean, he admitted, he was like, I was probably a jerk and a douchebag back then. He said, I did a lot of drugs and stuff like that. He just said, I don't remember being that kind of person that would, like, fully rape a woman and fully assault a woman. But you really, I mean, you don't know what's going on when you die. When you well, grow, and then that's the thing, too, the climate back in those days. Yeah. Like in the 80s and 90s. And you, yeah, that I mean, James climate. Yeah, I mean, yeah, man. You that fucking, cocaine is a hell of a yeah, drug climate. I mean, you Everybody know, was doing that shit. I mean, shit. I mean, look at what we finding out about Bill Cosby. He was doing shit like that. Who, so it's like, man, I, 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 like he was doing it. I like to come up there, take my spoon out the spoon. <laughs> Exactly. Dip that heroin spoon in the, in the pudding. <laughs> but yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it was really more acceptable back then to do a lot of drugs and the party and stuff like that. But I never been one to be a follower, so I, you know, no matter how many people was around me, I never got into that shit. You know what I mean? I, I didn't drink or smoke. Now I will say I did try them. I tried cigarettes one time, and I realized real quick that wasn't the move for me. I tried drinking one time, and I realized real quick that wasn't the move for me. So I was like, yeah, y'all keep that shit. I drink every night. Ne- well, actually, it's been a while since I take a drink. But every first night, step is admitting, man. Nah, I mean, <laughs> nah, I mean for real though, like it's been a, you know, well, I mean, I got fucked. Obviously, I fell the fuck off. But when I was on keto, yeah, yeah I didn't really mess with it too much because you know, drinking. I mean, hell, that's like liquid bread, man. That's yeah, like man. a loaf of bread in the yeah, man. joints. It'll get you, man. So. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's definitely something to be careful about. You know what I mean? Even if you're one of those who say I drink socially or I smoke lightly and all of that, you know what I mean? It's, it, it can get you in the long run. So, but anyway, um, but yeah, so Russell Simmons, they asked him about the, the allegations. A lot of women have accused him of sexual assault and rape. And um, that was basically his stance was, I've never been that bad of a person that I would fully rape somebody, you know what I mean? So he's saying basically, I was probably a jerk and a douchebag and I probably was a little rough on the outside, but he's saying I don't think I ever would have gone that far. So, and I can only hope that that's true, but if you admit that you've been doing a lot of drugs and stuff like that, you don't know what the fuck was going on. You, yeah. you know what I mean? The, the one time that I got into drinking, I couldn't hardly remember shit that was going on the day before. People was coming up to me like, yo, you remember what you did last night? And I'm like, nah. They're like, yeah, you did this. And then you jumped out the window and you, you took off your shirt. And Whoa. I'm like, nigga, what? You First know what I mean? So, you First know what I mean? Curtis. And that <laughs> happened last week, yo. <laughs> First step. All right, all right. No, it, fuck it, was this year. it was this year. You know what I mean? It, it was this year. It was this year. No, no, but that, that was a long time ago. That was, uh, that was about 96. Yeah, 96. Wow. Might have been 95. 96 is good. Man, yeah. that was some good years. Despite what happened in those years, those are some good years. They were, man. Yeah, they were. Man. Those are some of the best years for hip-hop, man. Yeah, 95, man. 96. From 95 to the end of the 90s, man, it was the shit. Yep, yep. Nah, I mean, the whole 90s was the shit, but 95 <laughs> and on, shit. Niggas was beating down your door with that shit, man. Yep. But, um, but yeah, what do you what do you think about the whole Russell Simmons thing, man? How do you feel about Honestly, Russell Simmons? Honestly, I didn't watch the whole interview. I kind of got, just, he was, it was kind of like he was, not, I don't want to say like he was backstepping, but it was just like, he was just, it just kind of just went from like, oh, it's like I did this. And, you know, it, it kind of kept on going like on and on 
about like you know the whole situation and stuff. But again, like I said, in the climate in the eighties and nineties, a lot of the things that people did back in the days, if you did them now, you couldn't get away with. Them, right. You know what I'm saying? So I mean. But at the same time, I don't wish nothing bad on him or anything right. like that. I honestly, I I, I don't want to say. Now, if he did do something, I do want him to, you know, own up to it, and right. you know, maybe they'll, you know, kind of uh, okay. Maybe we can, you know, work something out. Cause the man's right. six or eight years old, man. Right. And uh, you know, what I'm saying, but that's not old, but he's older. I think he's learned from his mistakes. Split that man a little bit. Yeah, you know I, mean? I will say that I agree. I think he has become a better person, even if he did do some wrong back then. Um, but you know, and he did admit that he took a lie detector test. He said he took a lie detector test that lasted three hours, and he passed. Yeah. So you know, but you know, we can That's not really usable in court. So, you know, but, you know, he for him to be willing to do that says something about his yep. character. Yep. So, but then you got the women who are telling the story and, you know, what they're telling sounds really bad. So it's like, damn, I hope it wasn't like that. Just like the Michael Jackson thing with the two dudes that came out saying that he did all this to him. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I don't believe that. Them motherfuckers, I think, is lying. But, you know... It's hard to say, you know what I mean, uh, when it comes to Russell Simmons, but for him to be willing to take that lie detector test says a lot, because, I mean, he's not, like, a military guy. You could, A lot of military guys, they've been trained to beat that lie detector. Yeah. He ain't one of them guys. He never, you know, he never got no training like that. So, for him to be willing to do that says a lot for his character. Now, I think the, um, the movie is still coming out. I'm not sure if it's going like to DVD or Lifetime or whatever, but it's definitely still coming out. They put out a trailer for it like a month or two ago. For so, the Russell Simmons doc- the documentary. Yeah. Right? Okay. Uh-huh. So it's it's a few women uh, up there, but um, you know we as we know Oprah did back out of it, um, so she's not supporting it anymore because she said she did notice some inconsistencies in the oh, story. Oh, did she now? She did. Oh, <laughs> Oprah's got a heart. Yeah. But um, <laughs> but you know it is what it is. We'll see what happens. Fucking man here. I'm gonna say this because nobody talks about this shit. Everybody, they make sure that when there's an R. Kelly documentary, you know about it. When there's a Russell Simmons documentary, you know about it. But there is a Jeffrey Epstein documentary right now on Netflix. Go watch that shit. Oh, yeah, I need to yeah, Go I need, watch that yeah, shit I need because to that shit. they always make sure to keep their shit on the hush. You know, I, I didn't even know this shit was out. I just happened to be going through Netflix and there was popped up. I'm like, oh, so y'all quietly <laughs> released this shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And so it really tells you the whole story. So that's, go check that out, that's man. Dirty, that's a dirty man. That dude was dirty, man. Dirty. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I will say this. Russell Simmons, he talked too damn much. <laughs> he talked for like 30 minutes straight. I was like, dude, all right, we get it. We get it. You're, 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 you're innocent. We get it. <laughs> but, um, it felt, at first, it felt like he was trying to overcompensate and just talk too much. But I think it was just, that's his personality. Because I can be like that, too. I even told Howie, sometimes y'all probably notice, I just keep rambling on. I have to stop myself because I just talk a lot. So I, 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 I apologize for that if I ever ramble on. But um, I think that's just his personality. He just talks a lot. He admitted it. So, um... Did you want to talk about anything else as far as Russell Simmons goes? Nah, man. Let's go ahead and talk about Terry Crews, blind, black, white, supremacist. <laughs> Terry Crews, man. Listen. So. <laughs> I don't care if he kicked my ass, motherfucker. Anyway, go ahead. He getting a lot of hate, man, over the last <laughs> couple of weeks because, I mean, basically, he was talking about the death of people like George Floyd and Ahmaud Arbery and you know how he um, doesn't like what happened to them but he basically said that in order for black people to get through it we need the help of white people and then he said if we don't that's pretty much black supremacy if we try to do it on our own and I'm paraphrasing but that's basically (laughs) 
That's basically what he was saying. I was like, come on, dude. Black supremacy, there's no such thing. And everybody just jumped <coughs> in and went in. <laughs> like, exactly. You know, they scratched the record. What? <laughs> Did you just say black supremacy? So, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I think I get what he was trying to say. Because I think that in order for there to be a full revolution, we do need some white allies. Because if not, the white people who are racist and ignorant and, and, and what have you, they assume that all white people are like that. You know what I mean? And not all of them are like that. So some of them are, you know, like your Gary Owens. You know what I mean? He he know he know what it's like. He like, yeah, I'm black. I might as well be black. <laughs> Yo, y'all need to check out that. I shared it on Facebook though. Y'all need to check out my man, the girl. I'll tell you about the uh, about the white actors. They're like, oh, we apologize. I apologize. Gary was like, I ain't apologize for shit. <laughs> It's like, I love black people. Y'all, now y'all want to be down here? I don't even know why I'm in this video. Now y'all want to come around? Uh -huh. oh, I, I love black people. I've been in the hood spots, everything. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but he has, man. I mean, Gary been on the team for, for, for the, from the beginning, really. I mean, so, and he's funny as hell, too, man. So, uh, I we definitely have, like his brand of comedy. We have the black delegation take your own steps. <laughs> as far as long as the uh, white uh, We're going to trade, uh, uh, trade uh, Candace Owens. Exactly. <laughs> trade Boys. that. Uh, man, you know what? I ain't going to say. Yeah, we got to talk about it. We'll talk about that video. <laughs> Yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. Straight punk ass. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, man, but yeah, so. <laughs> but Terry Crews, you know, I, I think you need to rephrase what you're trying to say. There's, there's no black supremacy. I mean, we can't even have a black supremacy until we knock off white supremacy. And even then, we're not going to have no black supremacy because we have no, we have no desire to be supreme because first of all we are the original people anyway so we're thank, born thank supreme you. that's right, that's right. Born that's right. Supreme. without us there wouldn't be white people nobody you take the motherfucker so, <laughs> if you want to you know talk about because you know a lot of the white people who are racist they feel like they have all this thing about being a pure blood, you know what I mean? And we got probably the most pure blood of anybody because we're part of that original race, you know what I mean? Now, we all human and we all come from the same two people, but still, you know what I mean? If you want to talk about purity. Yeah, if you want to believe it. Nah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but I mean, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, there's other, you know, other people have different beliefs. Yeah, yeah. But, you know what I'm uh, saying? Very true. Not, not, and not knocking that. You yeah. Know. So, but yeah, I mean, but at the same time, but yeah, we, that's one thing about us. We've been here, we here now, and we always gonna be here. Yeah. We always gonna be here. I don't care how many of us they gonna try to sit out. We always gonna be here. Out to people. Out to people. I'm that. <laughs> oh yeah, I was about to say, Black shout out the shirt, the shirt. So, I'll get you one of them shirts if you want. You know, my wife makes them. So, uh, but anyway, man, you got anything else you want to say about Terry Crews? Nah, other than shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, big old, big sensitive. I mean, I'm a cancer, and I'm big and sensitive, and I cry and shit. I ain't that much, and you know what, I'm gonna just shut the fuck up. Yo, people went hard on here. They don't like, they, we don't want to hear nothing from you after you let that white man grow you in the kid of groin or whatever. They went hard on him, man. And they was like, yeah, I would beat the hell out of that dude. And Terry Crews was like, yeah, I'm trying to do it the right way. Nah, ain't no right way about that. You, you smack it. You yeah, know. you touch my dick, you beating the shit out of shit. That's right. Unless, Unless you're a really nice, attractive female. Right. Well, unless you like well, Debo, then I might be yeah. like, hey man, my yeah. mama gave me that dick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't touch that, yeah, Debo. You know. Like <laughs> Debo. Tuck the chain in real quick. Yeah, Debo. Like Debo. Right, well, you can touch it, man, but my mama gave me that dick. But, uh, oh, yeah, man. <laughs> But yeah, I, yeah, I mean, you know, you come up looking swole like that, you know what I mean? I might talk some shit, but I'm gonna be backing out when I do it. <laughs> ever talk no shit to me. Ever. Don't touch me, you know what I'm 
But, um, but yeah. Let's, um, let me mention this, man. Um, they just um, approved what's called Brianna's Law in, um, in support of Brianna Taylor, which is a, a, a law that will help with the no-knock policy because basically they have that policy where they don't have to knock on your door. They can just bust in there and serve their warrants or whatever without even letting you announce themselves. So they did pass Brianna's Law, which is what they're calling it. And um, it makes it a lot harder for them to get the um, warrants. It has to be where there's a threat of harm or death to the officer that would allow them to get it. And then they also have to wear body cam. There's no more busting down people's doors without no body cam. So it's it's not as you know that big, but it's a start. It's you know so, I mean? I, it's, I like so. It. it's a start, and I'm glad you know that they got something. They, it did pass unanimously. So and I think that's because it's an easy law to pass. But once they start you know going deeper and saying hey you can't just beat somebody door down period. That's when they're gonna be like, oh, well, hey, you know, hey, 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 take it easy. Right, take it easy. You got one. Damn, I mean, we gotta, we gotta make sure that we, you know, be able to dance at ground the ball when I need to. Take it easy. Take it easy. But um, but yeah. So you know, just want to kind of mention that, and that's a good thing.